Pro-Trump rally is turning violent in Berkeley, California over the weekend as counter-protesters clashed with the president's supporters. Both sides went at each other with pipes of bats, bricks, and pieces of wood. One elderly Trump supporter wearing a Make America Great Again hat collapsed after being pepper sprayed by liberal protesters. Meantime, a new AP poll shows 53% of Americans believe political polarization is extremely or very threatening to our national identity, with 34% saying it's moderately threatening. You know, when I watch that video, Harris, I just can't think. Look at the tolerant left, man. Yeah, so, you know, one of the things that I researched over the weekend is many of these rallies would have to have permits. I mean, you know, in municipalities, they'd have to gather. So that means the other side shows up with the intent to do what? And then this plays out. I don't think it would look like that if it had just been the Trump supporters. I think I'm fairly right in saying that. Hey. So when you bring the other side, they're not there to rally. They're there to do what you see play out on your screen. And I say, if you put your hands on somebody, they need to lock you up. Amen to that. I, you know, it's, it's interesting to me. I, the more you look at this, the, the people who preach the most tolerance often are the least tolerant. I mean, we're supposed to be celebrating free speech and the First Amendment rights, and we're going to disagree, but nobody wants to see that kind of violence. And then I asked you at the top of the show, and you knew you had an answer right away. How many days in are we? 46. To this administration? 46 days. I think people at this point are just wondering how long is this going to continue? I, I don't know. I mean, I had my own town hall, and I had a lot of people show up, and and uh, but I think their their objective, not all of them, certainly not. A lot of people just came to express their frustration, but there were a few in the crowd that their main purpose was bullying and intimidation. They're trying to shut down the dialogue. Uh, they 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 don't like that Donald Trump is the president, but he's going to be the president for at least four years. So we better figure out how to yeah. have this dialogue and talk through disagreements. And, and, and be able to communicate, for goodness sake. Yeah. Why can't we shame the people who do wrong? Like, I, Megan yeah. talks all the time about being a Republican in Southern California mm -hmm. and how people were so cruel to you. What a hellfire Why can't experience. we shame the yeah. people who want to be evil? You know, I have to tell and you, and I'm sure you all experience this. Everyone sitting on this couch is a notable person, either working at Fox News or being a Republican. When you go out in certain cities and you are recognizable, you are harassed. It has happened to me on multiple occasions. And as you said, the tolerant left is tolerant to everyone except a conservative with a different opinion and god forbid you voted for donald trump i have a friend who wears his make america great again hat around here in new york city and i was like you better be careful man i'm not kidding you better be careful for your safety wearing a donald trump hat here in new york city no, it, it, it gives people license, and it's interesting because in Berkeley, it seems as though uh, assault is no longer a crime, nor is vandalism. You know, you look at, at what happened at the campus protest, mm -hmm. and, and now you know there's this incendiary climate in Berkeley, and it was the birthplace of free speech in the 60s. This used to be a countercultural, interesting place to have conversations about things that, that made you slightly uncomfortable. That is no longer possible. And the left is only tolerant if you agree with them. And that's, that's awful. So it is this is what it looks like when they break out of a safe space. <laughs> well, yeah, or, or try and take someone's safe space from them by force. The violence is just really disgusting. Yeah, no. If you like something other than Grey Poupon, heaven forbid you like mustard, they're going to come <laughs> after you. That's the way it feels. It's liberal elitism that uh, it's just a Very dangerous. Yeah, yeah. It's really sad. All right, more Outnumbered in just a moment.